All right, so we will call the meeting to order at 4.33 p.m. This is the February 20th, 2023 meeting of the Axford Area Cable Commission Communications Commission. Uh, so if we could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, um, Mo, are you do roll call? I'm with Darren. Here. Catherine. Here. John. Here. Mo, here. Okay, uh, first order of business is number four, approval of the agenda. I'd like to vote to approve the agenda as presented. Second. There's been a motion and it's been supported. Um, all those in favor of approval of the agenda say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? And that motion passes. Uh, next item number five is public comments on items not on the agenda. Joe? I'm okay. He's good. He's giving the thumbs up and he's good. <laughs> All right. Nothing. Um, then item number six is the minutes, which should be at pages two to three. Uh, we need to approve the minutes of the January 23rd, 2023 meeting. I have some corrections on that. Okay. Um, we need to add Addison Township rep behind your name as well as um, Township, Oxford Township behind Catherine. And then um, item five, approval of the agenda. We have Catherine's name spelled wrong. So we need it an I N rather than E N. Okay. Was that part? Oh, yeah. That wasn't part of the amended packet that we got then. Correct. Okay. Is um, that to make sure that we have a quorum of uh, super warm? Yes, you do have a super quorum. Right, she's the most asking, is that why you're amending it? Oh, is I'm that, sorry. Because that would show that we had a super quorum if you added those. Is that why you're adding that? We don't usually have that list, do we? No. Okay. That's fine. I'm kind of lost on that. By bringing the Addison wrap, the Oxford Oh, Thompson I see wrap, what you're saying. Okay. That shows that there's a super quorum. Actually, I didn't. Yeah. I could. Did we lose one? Um, we did because we approved something. We needed one. Okay. So we need to add the, the alternate Addison Township and then which other one? Um, correct. Uh, Oxford Township as well as Addison Township and then correcting. <coughs> Name, spelling. Yes. Okay. All right. Any other corrections or additions that anybody can see? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as corrected. I'll support. Okay. There's been a motion to approve the minutes as corrected and supported. Um, do we need a roll call on that? Yeah. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? And the motion carries. Okay. Up next, number seven on the agenda is bill review. Um, item A is the 2023 expense revenue bill run for that needs approval from January 16th, 2023 to January 30th, 2023. Pages four to eight. I'll make the motion to approve agenda item seven A. The bill is in the amount of $23,659.79. Support. All right, there's been a motion to approve the revenue bill run, and it's been supported. Um, that would be roll call on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Helmet, yes. Catherine? Yes. I almost voted for you. I just stopped it. Hopkins? <laughs> yes. Karen? Yes. Some of you get first names, some get last names. That's I'll fine. Out. <laughs> I'll I'll go go All right, so that motion uh, to approve the revenue bill run has been approved. Now, B and C just had to receive and file, right? Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to receive and file agenda item 7, B and C. Support. Okay, there's been a motion and it's been supported to receive and file the 2023 year to date revenue and expense report through 131.23 and the uh, invoice 
GL distribution report for January 2023. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? And that motion carries. Okay, and then we're on to very quickly here item number 8A, the Oakland County Investment Pool at page 13. I'll make a motion to receive and file agenda item 8A and B. Oh, and that is also the Michigan class investment. Yep. So what is that? So um, we transferred all of our funds from the Oakland County Investment Pool to the Michigan class investment pool. Same thing, I mean, it's the state of Michigan. It pays back at a higher interest rate. Got it. And I, I noticed that the old one is still collecting a bit of interest. So there's a, a nominal, well, there's $738 in there. So I don't know if Joe's going to transfer that or not. So we may be getting both of these for a while. Hmm. But this, um, Item 8B, the Michigan class investment, is really just like a... It's basic, is, it's the same thing as the county, only it's Michigan yeah. rather than the county. Okay, it just looks like it's cut and pasted from like a... Oh yeah, no, that's kind of funky. We yeah. get that from Joe. It like doesn't look like an official report. It doesn't. It. And I think it might have something, I'll have to check with him about that. That's the second time I've seen that. And you're right, I'm, I'm not crazy about it either. Um, but it might be a breakdown their total the township's investment as well as ours Got it. so i'll find out and let you know okay so um backing up there was a motion to receive and file and i'm sorry was it supported I mm -hmm. okay it's been supported um any other any discussion or any other questions okay um so all those in favor to receive and file items a eight a and b um say aye aye, aye. any opposed any abstain and that carries Okay, on to item number nine, unfinished business, uh, discussion of the next meeting date. So I spoke with Ed Conwick last week and he doesn't believe he will be here in March. He said he felt guilty about that. Um, if there wasn't going to be a lot on the agenda, you, you could either put it off till April or we can make it a short agenda. Um, you'd still have a full quorum with or without him, but he said, Apologizes that he may not be back. He stayed in Florida. He's not coming back. <laughs> He's I never coming back. <laughs> Do you know if there's going to be a lot on our agenda, Jerry? I don't think so. I really don't think we have a lot going on. We don't have any big purchases or anything going. So it would be just a standard. Our support skipping the. Make that motion now. I move that we skip the March meeting. I'll support. All right. And that would take us to an April meeting of what, a April 24? Uh, let me see what that would be. I believe so. Gosh. Only, and I'm only asking because the item says discussion of the next meeting day. So if we vote to not meet in May, March, just want to know what the yes, next Yes, it would be the 24th. Um, wait. Yep, 24th. Okay. So there's been a motion that's been supported to basically waive the March meeting, and then that would take us to our next meeting, April 24th. Um, do we need a roll call on that? No. Nope. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, then that carries. Okay. Uh, on to item 10, new business. Item A, purchase of new equipment for Oxford. So you are inundated with um, paperwork. On, the, on these, but I wanted to remind everybody that um, these two cameras were in our three to five year plan and that uh, we're right on target as far as my holding back the 20 or holding aside 23,000. The cameras should be about 10,000. Um, and then we also need a set of lights and there's 600. So we'd still be within that 23,000 that we've held back. Um, and there's, we've, Joe put together packets of three different vendors per item. I would recommend B&H because we've always done business with them. They give us a um, tax free and free shipping. And they're a dollar or two different than other places that we've not done business with. 
for, let's say for the cameras first, the two camcorders, and they're six generations up from what we have now. The ones that we have now are about eight to 10 years old. They still function, but their colors are different and we can't uh, fix that. There's, it's just because they're old and we plan on replacing those cameras anyhow. We can use those out in the field for sports. So we're not gonna get rid of them all together, but we do need new studio cameras. Tell me again what the 23,000 is. I held 23,000 aside to be able to replace those cameras. Aside from what? Um, from that 209,000 that we had in that investment pool. So three or four years ago when I put this uh, three to five year plan together, we took 23,000 out of that $209,000 or 206 um, investment pool, and we put it in contingent. What line item is that, Dave? Do you know? It's a contingency, and it's been there for a couple years. Let me look. Oh, yeah, look. We don't have it. Don't we don't have the budget in here? No. Oh, yeah, it's up here. Oh, yeah, that one. It's a um, line item, I know it's brown, capital improvement equipment, it's 296-296-970-006, 23,000. So your three to five year plan, this is year one, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to spend 10,600. Pretty much, yep. What are you estimating for year two or year three? I mean, is that 23,000 going to carry you through the five years? No, I'll probably have to pull some from that 134 contingency. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just want to know what this 23, yep. how far this 23, since they got it, it's all the way through five years, I mean, great. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> as long as the equipment is needed. Yep, it is. Swirling needed. So in the 2024, we need field, we need tripods in the studio, and um, I haven't priced them lately. But the ones that we had were ten thousand each. We also need field cameras. We're replacing the sports. We're sending the studio cameras out to sports, and our sports cameras are pretty good. So. I can either hold off, I'm going to look at it next year, hold off on the sports cameras. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have I to get into the other years. We, I just had this 23 Give me a heads up. How far is that going to go? Yeah. So. so, Terry, what happens to the ones that these camcorders that are 8 to 10 years old? Are they just, are they, I mean, pretty much. Our field cameras? Well, the ones that, that we're replacing. Oh, the ones we're replacing, we're going to send those out to the field. Oh, those And use them in the field. sports, yeah. Oh, I see. So just give them some extra cameras because Joe and Dan wrestle two of them around and, and I have another camera person that really likes those bigger cameras because we have two out there already. Um, and he's always <coughs> like, do I have, do we have access to that? So it just adds to our inventory out there in the field. So are you, do you need a, do you need is there do you need a motion to approve these i do to spend that money which would be three of the sony xd cam camcorders two oh two two camcorders and the light packet so it's all right behind um that three to five year plan so we the we need two sony cameras at 299.99 um from b and h and then behind that is let me find my lights the light pack i know you've got a lot of um material you really didn't need and i'm sorry about that but the light packet also from b and h i would prefer it's a whole it's three led lights and batteries right joe the batteries come with it uh no they, they actually come with the the power supply this time the ones before did not have oh but we have supply. batteries that match mm -hmm. it. okay 
They are they are all the same. They're all universal. Our cameras and lights, batteries are all the same. Did you get bids for these? That's what the three three different um, sources. So I'm still confused because I thought you said it was going to be closer to 10,000 and two cameras are three. It's only 6,000 plus the light. It's only 66. Well, it depends on the, what tax is or if it's gone up again. I'm just trying to keep it around 10,000. Right, but I'm only showing $6,600. What am I missing? You're not. Oh, okay. That's a heck of a lot of tax. Right, that's a big difference. I'm just I trying you... to be safe. So if you guys you want to pay that tax, tax why do you pay no, taxes? we're not paying tax. That's B and H. We don't pay taxes. Well, you said taxes. Oh, I didn't mean that. Maybe shipping. <laughs> I don't know. No, we're not paying shipping either. So shouldn't it be like an exact amount, twenty nine ninety nine point ninety nine times two? If you'd like, yeah, that'd be fine. Plus B and H of five ninety nine for the lights. Six ninety nine. Wait a minute. B&H so is 599. Let me find out what's the B&H. Because you're recommending the B&H, right? Because it's tax exempt. I am recommending B&H. Is B&H the 599? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. I think they were on sale maybe at that time, too. Yeah. Well, it's 6 plus 757. Right, but you got all these 99.99 .99 oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think the lights might have been on sale at that time. The 599 I think they might be. It would say on that paper if it does. Yeah, you saved a hundred dollars. So normally they're uh, 699 Yeah. List price, 599 with rewards. So with the 599 with the 29.99, we're looking at 65, 98, 98. But you're saying maybe we might not be able to get it for that price. So why would you put seven dollars? Yeah, so I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the purchase of the two camcorders um, and that um, light studio three light system up to seven thousand dollars. That would come out of that line item that you told us two nine six two nine six nine seven zero 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 six from B and H from, so from B and H, yeah. So up to seven thousand okay. dollars. Okay, that... thank you. Yep. Support that. That'll do it. Okay. All right, so then that will, do we need a vote, roll call on that? Probably? Yep. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's me. Uh, yeah. Q. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Like, yes. Oh, John. John. Okay. John? Yes. Garrett? Yes. Mo? Yes. Thank so, you. Okay. Yay. Um, and then next up is uh, item number 10B, the OCB manager's evaluation report. Um, Mo and I met with Terry on Saturday and had a nice little breakfast at the Country County again. <laughs> Talked about the last year and everything that's going on, some things that Terry wanted to work on, and things are going great. And do I just recommend what the raise is that we've? So we recommended that Terry get a 6% increase um, with what our recommendations. So I guess we need a motion. I'll make a motion to increase the OCTV manager's pay by 6% for 2023. So is the budget 2023? That's the year. That's the right? For the 2023 budget year. Retroactive to January 1st. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Kind of support. <laughs> okay, so there's been a motion and it's been supported to increase the manager salary uh, 6% for the 2023 budget year. We need a roll call on that. Still writing down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alma, yes. Hawking. Yes. Catherine. Yes. Darren. Yes. All right, and that Thank passes. You. All right, that brings us to item number 11, the manager's report. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to read it. Um, Last two weeks ago, almost, um, we collaborated with Lake Orion Neighborhood Television for their 13th annual, I think I warned you about that last month, um, food drive for Oxford Orion Fish. It went well. Um, we, we tried to live stream their 
uh, programming because we gave them a lot of programming and we were trading it back and forth. There were some issues with that we still need to figure out and work out, but the rest of it went really well. Um, they want to do it with us again. There's a lot of collaboration that Ian is excited about that he wants to do with us. So we're really building a good relationship with him. Um, let's see, we need, oh, we need some sensors replaced on the van. So I'm in the process of getting um, uh, prices on that, quotes on that. They're just, uh, they're brake sensors, so we need them. If we don't replace them, it's not going to hurt anything, except for if something else goes wrong. That that sensor light is on all the time, so we won't know if something else has gone wrong or not. So. I've been driving my car with light like, uh, for years. It's going <laughs> to My husband always says, turn the radio up. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Full holidays. Sure, you know. Exactly. So uh, I'm repeating myself here. We are working on live streaming um, in the studio as well as Lake Orion. Um, Kyle's working on a new website as the old one is ridiculously obsolete and we need to direct programming to that website uh, with this new playback system that we have it won't go to our old website so people can't really go onto our website and pull up programming however they can go to Facebook YouTube and Roku um, am I missing anything Apple, Apple TV spectrum um, but it's, it would just be able to be able, for them to be able to pull it from our website as well. And it's an old, funky website. So we're working on that. And um, we have a new... What is our website? OCCTV.org. That's the old one. That's the old one. And the new one is OxfordCommunityTelevision.org. Um, I think I told you about this last month. We're doing this critter feature with the sanctuary that's on Hummer Lake Road. Um, we're getting an enormous amount of hits already on that. And then Joe has picked up again. We're doing stuff with Canine Stray Rescue League. We're getting great hits on that. We're really trying to get <coughs> those two entities to give us feedback as to whether they've adopted uh, animals because of what they've seen on our programming or um, we're trying to get donations for the sanctuary. They're not going to adopt out any animals. But it'd be nice to know if people were watching and giving donations because of that. So I'm, I'm following that around. We're working on that, cool. which is fun. Um, let's see. We're, oh, OK, the canine rescue thing. Um, we've got a steady viewership of about 10,000 a month on um, Facebook, YouTube, sorry. Um, let's see. We've booked another tour of the studio with the Clear Lake uh, International Baccalaureate instructor. So that's three second grade classes that come through the studio. And um, they liked it so well last year, they're going to do it again this year. It's kind of hectic, but it's fun. Um, I, joined, I joined the chamber board again in January. I think I have told you about that still researching on writing a grant to pay for closed captioning we have the capability of closed captioning on this playback system but there's a subscription a yearly subscription and so i'm going to see if the if four county will help us out and then also they want to see that you've got funding to help support that so that might come out of that contingency fund as well the um the 135,000. I have two questions, Terry. Uh huh. Who's paying your chain for dues? We are. The cable commission? OCTV. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, let's see. Oh, we're having issues with the audio volume on AT&T. We thought we had it fixed last week. Joe uh, worked on turning the audio down on our playback system, but it brought down the audio on uh, Charter as well. I've been trying to find somebody since June for AT&T that can help us with this because it's on their end, it's not on ours. We've done everything we can to try to correct it on our end. So if anybody talks to you, especially in Addison Township, about having really bad audio, tell them to call AT&T. Tell them um, Bob Bunting was having issues and it took him a good six months and he finally got a hold of somebody and it was a squirrel had chewed the trees. Yeah. 
Um, but it took him a long time, and he even called me and asked me if I could find somebody. And I have emailed all the contacts that we've ever had, and nobody's responded. So if if you hear from your residents, please have them call them or whatever. And that's it. Okay. Like Let's say how we prefer the manager's report to be written down. Pardon me? I prefer the manager's report to receive it in writing. It is. It's, it's the last page. It's the last page. You asked Bill that a long time ago. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you always get it. I prefer not to get this much junk. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize till today that you had a big bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't do that. I won't do that again as far as that was all um, the equipment. And it's a great report. But yeah. I didn't find it neat. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, life is good though, other than that. All right, so moving on to item number 12, committee reports. Technical committee is Ed and to be determined, and Ed's not here, and to be determined's not here. <laughs> so I'm assuming there's no report for that. Um, personnel committee is me and Mo, and we met with Terry, so we're pretty much shut up for the year, I think. Yep. Um, any commissioner comments, Mo? I have nothing. Nothing. Okay. Public comments? Okay. Um, any public comments? Joe, back to you. Thank you for the new equipment. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, all right, then I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Support. Support. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meetings adjourned.